Hello and welcome to episode 13 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. So things didn't end too well in the last episode. Obviously, we ended up with a loss to Tote City after an absolutely breathtaking 10-goal thriller against local rivals Middle Forever. Then we were right back down to earth, weren't we, against Stoke City. Beaten by a Joe Allen breaking the line of defence goal, which is embarrassing to say the least. And things don't get any easier today as we're up against top of the table. Oh no, they're not top of the table anymore. They were top of the table for a long time. Fourth place now, Derby County. There are a couple of spots ahead of us. And then we're into the transfer window and then we've got Millwall as well. So quick reminder of the negotiations. Uh, we've had a bid in for Maxi Romero. A frankly, derisory bid. Two million under his market value. I know they think that they can get him now because his, uh, well, his contract is up, but we've got a contract ready to go when we need to. So we're not going to do that now, but, you know, he's not going anywhere. Uh, Sean and C and Edmondson have both got bids in for them. We can't really sell them, though, because of the uh, homegrown talent rule. Unfortunately, we're going to have to keep hold of them. So we can't really do much in terms of money. Uh, obviously, in terms of, well, transfers at the moment, we've got Mason Mount. A lot of you saying we don't need to sign him. I sort of agree, but then also, it's only two million. It's basically a swap for Baker who is our reserve attacking midfield at the moment. So it's an almost like-for-like like swap, both English players. I get it. We've got more pressing needs. But when a player like Mason Mount comes up from the scout, 19 years old, all of this talent, all of this potential, we're never going to be able to get him for this price ever again. Absolutely never. So we have to pull the trigger now. That's my, that's my thoughts anyway. We do have Martinez as well. A lot of you think we need a quicker centre-back. Uh, Martinez would be that. He's 79 speed. Uh, we could do a swap with him for Bamford. That would pretty much, uh, I think that would cover it. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether he would be enough for you. I mean, a lot of you saying that we need to strengthen our back line. I think he would be the right signing. He's quick, he's strong, he's very short. That is the only problem. But I don't think that's that's too much of an issue. We've got Janssen and Bernardo, who are both big centre-backs. This guy could be the quick, uh, maybe even the sweeper in this back three, who could hopefully try and uh, stop some of the problems we're having with players just running clear. Let me know what you think in the comments. So with that out of the way, let's get into the first game of the episode. Away at Derby County, this is going to be tricky. And it's another Derby game. A Derby Derby. It's every, Literally every game is a Derby for Leeds. It was a it was a bad choice in that respect. Let's take a look at the sides. Okay, lots of flashing arrows, as you'd expect. Some tired legs. It's not long after the Stoke game. But we really put our all into it. I don't think there are any changes we're going to make here. PT Pablo. He's on a red arrow. Scored a goal in the Middlesbrough game. We just, we were, we were very poor. Very, very poor against Stoke. Mason Mount, a player who uh, we certainly almost 100% are going to be signing starts for them today. That's an interesting choice. How can you expect him to play to his full potential? He's in today as a central midfielder. He's a uh, attacking midfielder by trade. But that does show that he can play there as well. Bernardo is up to 79, so we can definitely sign him. Uh, bringing in Martinez to replace Ailing, I think would be smart. If we can do those two bits of business in this window, then uh, I think we've done very well. Don't know about you. Derby are a strong side. They've got Anya at right back. Good centre-back duo. Joe Ledley in midfield. And uh, Cameron Jerome up front. That is a blast from the past. But a dangerous striker nonetheless. Right, let's go. So here we are. It looks like a cold, rainy night here in Derby. A depressing place to be, Pride Park, on a night like this. But it will be especially depressing if we play like we did against Stoke City. We need to find a little bit more tempo. We need to be... We need to be more incisive, but yet at the same time, we need to build up play in a way that we haven't really been doing. We've been panicking in games, and that's just not good enough. Bielsa likes his team to play direct football. When we win it back, we need to break quickly with purpose. Each pass needs to have a meaning, needs to have a purpose. But then also, let's not just go knocking it down the wings and trying to put balls into Romero in the box. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't work. We need to use Kobos and Isla. They've been key to any success that we've had. Hopefully we can find them uh, some space today. <sighs> Joe Ledley, what a beard, what a beard. Right, let's go. Oh, Bernardo. He's got a lot to prove today, and that's a great challenge. Just remembered as well, we've got Klitsch in today. There is no Kobos. He is injured. So we've got a play without a play who's been very important to us. Saiz sees the run of Klitsch, and here he is. Can he score straight away here? Not a bad effort. Coming in for Kobos today. Well, we spoke about him, and then he appeared with a great run. He's a good player. Not quite right for that position, but he is a good player. Pizarro sees Romero. Oh, and he's taken out there. It's a good challenge. Saiz, nice close control here. Harrison pops it into the Spaniard. He puts the ball in, looking for Klitsch, who's in the box. Isla can't get to it. Things are coming together there. Well, started strongly. Started very brightly. Certainly brighter than Derby County. Wow. Isla crunching. 
Maxi Romero now. Oh, he's done him. Oh, that's beautiful. Maxi Romero looks to curl. Wow. Did he just pop that through his legs there? That was delicious. Unfortunate. Couldn't find a finish at the end of it. Pizarro, lovely interplay there with Isla. Now the Chilean streaks forward. It's a hopeful ball into Romero, but the defender forced into a header, giving us a corner. And it's going to be Saiz to take this. The outswing is a good one. Romero's away from his man. Oh, it's straight through the keeper. That did not look like it was going in. Romero ghosting in completely unmarked. How do you not mark the top scorer in the league? Well, there it is. Saiz and Romero embrace. Manoni's pleased with that. But the keeper at the other end of the pitch will not be pleased. No marking at all. He's just misjudged the flight of that. Didn't look like that was a powerful enough header to beat anyone. Clearly it was. Romero, I mean, they'll be kicking themselves, the Derby County players here. And that was far too easy. And we're off the mark here away from home. This is nice. So much better here. Isla out to Harrison. It's not the best ball, but he will get to it. It's the cut back inside of Olsen. Sees the ball to Romero. That's a great ball. Ah, oh, what a ball from Harrison. Romero just couldn't quite decide what to do with it. Saiz now, another corner. Another outswinger. Janssen could get to this one. The header down. Just wide of the left-hand post. Great pressure here. We're not, we're not letting off. Got the first goal. And Janssen nearly rose for a second. Is the good header. Romero around the corner into Saiz. He's well ahead of Pierce here. To double our advantage. Sammy Saiz with the... Oh my god, no. That was an awful, awful finish. And now we could be caught here. Ailing out of position. That was a mistake. Janssen does enough. Waghorn now. Klitsch closing, but Waghorn does really well. Can he put a ball into the box? That's a lovely ball. Back to Joe Ledley. Pizarro's with him. Cameron Jerome allowed to turn. Janssen steams in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, fuck's sake. How has that happened? Just, oh, that, it's unlucky. It is unlucky. I thought we'd won that back there. Janssen looked like he'd done enough. And then, actually, that's great work from Joe Ledley. Putting his body on the line, and then no one's going to miss from there. Least of all, a wily, experienced centre forward like Cameron Jerome. Oh, great tackle there. Now Klitsch in Kudu. Romero, lovely. One, two, you've got to get there. You've got to get there, George. Does get there. He's got the uh, Scotsman Akichiania with him. Cuts back inside, lays it off to Klitsch. Inside to Saiz. Oh, and he's good defending again. Oh, but we've got it back. Pizarro floats it in, looking for Romero. Oh, it could fall to him here. Oof. And Roos gets there. Ah. Oh, Waghorn does really well to keep it in. Klitsch comes across. Finally, a save there from Vita Minoni. And a vital one as well. Half time still not quite here yet, though. And Jerome will have another go. Vita Minoni, double save. And that should be. Oh, hang on. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. Oh, my God. Fuck. I just chucked that. I thought that was going to be half time. It's 47 minutes, ref. Oh, but I suppose chucking it straight to a Derby County player means they played on. And we now go into the half. A goal down. Can things get any worse for Leeds United? Calamity after calamity. Vita Minoni as well. He just made a double save before chucking it to the uh, opposition player. But they should never have played on there. It should have been an instant blow of the whistle for the end of the half. As soon as the ball went in the air. Fuck's sake. Now Romero. Is it back into Harrison? Back to Isla. It's an early ball in. Klitsch is there. Could still fall. Mount with the header away. Ah, and Lawrence can clear. Good pressure here, though. Ailing does really well. And now he's going to look to launch the counter. The captain taking the ball by the horns here. Looking for runs, but there's none to be seen. And he loses out. They could hit us here. Oh, we've won it back. And Kudu through to Klitsch. Can it be? No! <laughs> Off the post! Oh, finally Derby County make a mistake and we're not able to capitalise. And now we could be caught here. Bernardo needs to get this right. Oh, he sort of did. Saiz into Klitsch. Time running out here for Leeds United to grab something. Romero, what is that? Oh, Romero. Oh, no, <laughs> it's the post again. <laughs> oh, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be today. Bamford on now and Baker as well. Can we grab a vital point against one of our playoff rivals? Doesn't look like it, but there is still a bit of time left here. Just got to keep pushing. We've hit the post twice. Saiz into Isla. 
Back to Saez. Cuts inside of Olsen. Looking for the overlap of Isla. Puts it up looking for Patrick Bamford! <laughs> yes! Paddy B! Has he got us the point here? That is an incredible way to do it if he has. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. Lost for... He tried a finish not dissimilar to that earlier in the season. But he's come on here and made an instant impact. Saez, patient. Found Isla on the overlap. Just floated up a ball to him at the near post. And what a volley that is. On his weaker foot as well. And Patrick Bamford goes from club joke to club legend. In the blink of an eye. Let's take another look at this. Wow. Peter Crouch-esque. And the number nine gives us a vital goal here. Can we go on and win it now? We deserve to. We've hit the post so many times. Derby County have just sat back. Tried to soak up the pressure. Have we got one more goal in us? Ailing does really well. That's going to help. Isla into Saez. Inside to Baker. That's a fucking awful ball. Ball out wide to Nkudu. Bamford. Nkudu. Men in the box here. Nkudu steps back. It's for the ball inside to Bamford. It's not a good one. Oh, but Janssen, what a header. We've got the momentum with us now. Klitsch into Bamford. Oh, and that's good defending. That is good defending. Shit. And that is full time here. Well, we have snatched a point from what surely looked like the jaws of defeat. And it seems like it's a good performance. But really, that Manoni mistake right at the end of the first half has cost us what could have been three points today. I feel like we were the better side. And we had so much possession. But they just sat back. They didn't need to go forward. They didn't think they needed to go forward. Bielsa's side obviously kept pushing. And finally, it was Bamford with a wonder goal to salvage something from this game. A really important point. So I suppose in the end, a positive. Right, let's keep this momentum going, sort of. Is that momentum? I don't know. But let's try and hold on to the positives from it. So what does that do to us now? Oh, down into seventh. That's no good. But still, plenty of season left. Um, but we need to be climbing back up. Definitely into sixth. We cannot drop any lower than this. And December has been a very difficult month for us. November was a good month, uh, but we've only managed to win two out of six. And uh, one of those was uh, the ridiculous 6-4. And then what else did we win? Oh, the whole city. But other than that, we've been very, very poor. Romero with five goals in the end, but a lot of them came in the same game. Just not very good ratings, really. Look at that. Isla, our second highest rated. And no, barely any assists as well. That's, that's odd. So as we expected, well, that is eight goals from through balls for us. We know where the problem is, but that is just a symptom of our tactics. I don't know how we prevent that happening, other than just cutting off the passing in the middle and just being more efficient. We know we can win with this tactic, just when things go wrong, we get caught on the break. It's fine. I don't know if that's a problem. If you're playing different tactics, we'd be getting hit by crosses or whatever. This is just what happens. Interesting not to see Pizarro at the top of some of these passes received. He's not been involved enough. It's quite important for us early on. Uh, Romero's shooting success rate has gone up from 8% now, but still a lot of chances not taken. Only 28%. Uh, Bamford has come in and scored a couple of really important goals. Janssen's still powerful in the air, winning a lot of tackles. Bernardo's there with him. Ailing low down the list for tackles and aerial battles. We do need to replace him, don't we? There's no doubt about that. Jackie Boy up to 73, still improving. So the scout has got something for us. Let's take a look and see what they found. It is a right back, and it is Martin Montoya. Spaniard at Brighton. We've already signed Bernardo from Brighton. He'd be decent. Not really the player we need. And we do definitely need English players at the moment. That is a, uh, a corner we backed ourselves into. Um, Mawson and Lascelles would both be good options there. Neither of them particularly quick. Martinez is certainly faster than both of them. I think Martinez might be the man. Might well be the man. So team of the month and not a single Leeds United player. I'm not surprised, but I am still disappointed. Right. Transfer window is open. And I know you're all going to hate me, but we're doing it. We're signing Mason Mount. What an exciting young player. Obviously, in real life, just called up to the full England squad. So he's having an incredible career already in real life. In this reality, well, Chelsea decided to sell him on a full transfer to Derby County in the end. They made his loan permanent. But then Leeds United and Bielsa have managed to prize him away. I don't know how they've managed it. Maybe playing under a manager like Bielsa is enough for him. But with Baker going the other way, this is just a no-brainer. I'm sorry. I mean, two million, I guess, is important to us at the moment. We don't have a huge amount of money. But two million and a fairly low salary for a player of his quality with Baker going the other way. There's just no question. No question at all. So we're going to get it done. There he is. Wow. First signing is in the bag. And we do have enough money now 
and I presume with Bamford going the other way that we'd have enough salary to sign Martinez. So let me know. I think that might go to a Patreon vote. Sorry to the patrons that I've just made an executive decision here, but I just, I can't not sign him. I just love, I think he looks great. Those stats don't come around very often, especially with a 19-year-old. Him and Romero as the future strike partnership of this side is going to be very exciting. And here he is, Mason Mount. What a coup this is for Marcelo Bielsa. And he even gets a press conference, which is a rarity. You know how important a signing is when we get this cutscene. And there he is. Thanks to my good friend Shales as well for the face build. Looking very, very much like him in real life. So, uh, yeah, there we are. Marcelo Bielsa very pleased as well. Baker going the other way. He had a couple of good games for us. Oh, is Millwall's a derby as well? I think that I think that literally might just be a derby because the fans are both considered to be the worst fans. And I think maybe when they meet each other, they both try and be the worst fans. So as a result, that's why they hate each other. That's crazy. Every game's a derby for Leeds. Every single one. Scout is back as well. Let's take a look at that before we see how Mount slips into this side. Uh, Desart. Take a look at him. He's Belgian. Again, we do need English players, really. And let's go and take a look at the team. So obviously, the big problem is, is that for Mount to play, Saiz needs to not play. Which is tricky. I get that because Saiz has been great. Question is, could we play Saiz out on the wing? No. I mean, he's, he worked as a reserve striker. He can play as a striker. He's 72 rated there. Um, could Mount play in central midfield? He could. He's 74 rated there. So... It just gives us options, but I think we've got to start Mason Mount there. Size on the bench is going to be, is, is tricky. What we could do, actually, because Harrison has been poor, maybe we play Size as a wide second striker. There we go. We've done it. We've cracked it. We've cracked it. 73 team spirit still with Mason Mount coming in. Harrison's just not done enough for me to start. I'm sorry to say it. We love him so much. He's just not quite cracked it. So I think that is going to be how we line up. Obviously, Kobos... We'll be back in three days. Glitch actually played pretty well in the last game. But there we are. That's how it's going to be. Let's remind ourselves of Mason Mount's incredible talents. He is a star player. He also has the very, very rare... Uh, what is it? What's it called? He also has the very rare orchestrator playing style. There it is. He's also a level two star player. I mean, we've made an incredible signing here. There's no doubt about it. Uh, right, let's get in. Get ready for this first game. I think we'll stick with the sides as we just worked them out. Mason starts on a green flashing arrow as well. That's great. So as I said, let's look at his stats. Incredible. Look at that attacking prowess. 78 attacking prowess from attacking midfielder is nuts. Ball control and dribbling. Insane. Great passer. Incredible passer. Good enough finishing. Absolutely good enough finishing for him to get a few goals for us. Obviously, the reason he's only 79 rated, which is, you know, may well, well, he's an England international now, so maybe he's not overrated. But his physical contact and his jump is very low. Obviously, he's great unwavering balance, explosive power. He's not too quick but he's pretty quick and then he's got that place kicking and that swerve as well <sighs> oh mama and all of those player skills this guy is going to be quite special uh everyone else i think oh, i think what we're going to do actually because Nkudu's not going to play today so we'll have saiz second striker out there and then we'll bring back in big jackie out on the right hand side as a right wing forward and that's fine 72 overall rating that's good and, uh, right, let's see how we get on. Can we get a win? Finally, a win would be good. Two games without a win now. We need it. We need it today against, well, it's not a local rival, obviously. Hundreds, maybe thousands of miles apart. Not thousands, hundreds of miles apart. But there's no love lost between these very, very intense groups of supporters. Let's go. So I did watch a video online, some I can't remember what it was, on YouTube. It was talking, asking football fans, who is the most hated football club? And it was uh, Leeds or Millwall. That was it. Those were the only two answers that anyone came up with. And that is why this derby exists. These are two sets of fans who are quite happy, I guess, or at least, you know, have got used to the fact that everyone hates them. I think one of Millwall's, Millwall's chants is everybody hates us. I think that might even be something they sing. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they try to out-dickhead themselves when they go and meet each other. There's been some pretty bad riots, some pretty bad fights in the past when these two sides have met. Uh, Leeds United at the moment are a team with a lot of class and they've added Mason Mount today. His debut, what can he do here down in London? Well, hopefully he can light the pitch up and get us a win that we desperately, desperately need. Right, let's do this. Oh, Meredith's in here. Bernardo. No, Bernardo, for fuck's sake. So many mistakes. <laughs> Again, just poor. 
Just panicking there. You had it. You had it there. And he tried to first time pass it out from the back. I've just... I'm lost for words. Harrison. Good ball into Whistler. Into Romero. Hits it well. Oh, off the post, Harrison. How have you missed that? How have you missed it? No. Oh, my God. Isla. Wide to Harrison. Lays it off into Mount. Lovely turn. Sees Isla making the run. Isla. Oh, could it fall to Saez here? No. What are you doing? Fuck. Glitch out to Saez. Good ball into Mount. Romero. Back to Sammy. Sammy. Sammy! Sammy! Oh, good finish. Not a good finish. Good effort. Good save. Just can't quite get the goal we need to get back into this one. So Mason Mount over this one. 81 rated corner taker. Surely he'll find someone. Pizarro's there. Oh, it's off the line. No! Oh, my God. The amount of goals that we've missed in this episode has been crazy. Hit the post so many times. Isla does really well, though. Out to Harrison. Into Romero. Oh, too fancy. Jesus. Klitsch now. We could do, I think, with Kobos back as soon as possible. Mount into Isla. He's looking for options. It's all opened up here. Finds Mason Mount. He'll get there. Oh, no. Mason on his weaker foot. But he puts it wide. Oh, hang on. What's this? Being pulled back here. If there was a foul on Isla in the build-up. Can Mason Mount have a chance to quickly make amends for that by whipping in a free kick on his debut? Get out the way, Jack. Thank you. Right. Nope, get out the way. Stay out the way. All right, fine. Stay there. Mount over the wall. Yes! Mason Mount. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no mountain low. And he's got that one over the wall. Ain't no wall high. No, anyway, we'll, we'll work on the chance. Just came to me in a flash of brilliance, but Mason Mount with a flash of brilliance of his own. And that is exactly what we signed him for. Set piece opportunities like that are his bread and butter. 80 plus rating, and he's got the curve as well to add to it. Keeper into the side netting, he had no chance. And Mason Mount makes a huge, huge impression on his first start for Leeds United. And that is why we signed him, and he gets a goal straight away. Well, well, well. More defensive mistakes. This time in the fourth minute from Bernardo. He's trying to be too clever. He's been caught like that before. He's good on the ball. Maybe he thinks he's too good. Then we came back at him. 60% possession away from home is great. Mason Mount missed a great opportunity. One on one with the keeper. Then straight away made amends with a great free kick. And uh, yeah, we've got to win this one now. Come on. We've got the momentum. We're doing well. We've got the possession. Let's make it count. Ball in, looking for Gregory, takes it down in the box. Janssen does enough. Saville, though, into Morrison. He'll turn. Effort, great save, Manoni. And Isla heads it out for a corner. Probably had more time than that, but Manoni with a good save. He's made two or three really good saves in the last couple of games. Can't really blame him for some of the goals we've conceded. Klitsch takes it down inside of Saville. Finds Mason Mount. Turns away from his man. Lovely turn of pace. Then he beats McLaughlin as well. Steps back inside. Oh, and he's taken out there. Ref. Ref. Well, we'll have that. We'll have that. Can Mount make it a duo, a brace of free kicks in one game. This is a good position, actually. Top left-hand corner. Thank you very... Oof. So, just off the wall. That was going in, though. Oh, my God. How has that gone in? <laughs> oh, I thought that had gone out. Wallace somehow sneaks it in. Ah. Oh, and again, we go behind. Oh, my God. I mean, that's a great ball over the top. Bernardo tried to shepherd it out. If anything, I think he might have put that into his own net. For God's sake. Klitsch puts the ball in. Romero with the overhead kick, and it's two in two games. And it has been balls into the box that have saved us again. Got a little bit more time now to get a winner. It's Maxi Romero with a Bamford-esque finish. Klitsch just uh, put a ball into the danger area. Wasn't really looking for anyone in particular. And Romero finishes well. Right, let's win this. Come on. Into the box. Elliot with a good turn. Oof. Ailing, that's a better ball. Saez into Mount. Oh, he's taken out there. That is absolutely brutal. Mount has been getting some serious attention here. And he looks hurt. That is not what we need in his, uh, his debut game. Really well here. Just to knock it over the oncoming defender. But he got clattered. Oof. 
Mount again is absolutely flattened. They've got a serious vendetta against him today. A yellow card for them. Another yellow card. Mason Mount, well, they've highlighted him for some serious physical attention today. Short one here into Mount. Looks for Romero. Looking back for Mount. No. Oh, and Romero is taken out edge of the box. Could be another opportunity for Mason Mount here. Can he win it? Can he win this one late in the game? This is a great position for him. I mean, we do have Pablo as well. 79 rated. Can we get this one up and over? This is a little bit close. We're going to go for it. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's hit the post. Oh, how many times are we going to hit the fucking post in this episode? Is Lolo balling is blocked? Oh, I don't believe it. Mason Mount now. Can he find the right ball to win this game for us? All the big men from the back are up. Romero's there. His header doesn't do anything particularly. Saez, lovely footwork, but can he find the right ball? It's a decent one into Romero. Out of his feet, the left foot finishes off the post again. Oh my god, the woodwork. He's been the best defender for any of the sides we've played in this episode. Lovely footwork from Saez. It's a great ball into Romero. Good first touch from him on the left foot. Just couldn't sneak it in. Mount. Still Mason Mount into the box. Klitsch, Romero, Romero turns, hits it, yes, oh that was desperate, desperate times, Mason Mount almost overplayed it, somehow got the ball back and Romero celebrates with the travelling lead supporters, it's a key goal in this race for promotion, things have not been going our way recently, and there is a topless Yorkshireman, that is pretty standard in any travelling support from that county, Mason Mount just Trying to find a way through. He couldn't. It fell to Klitsch. Lovely turn here. The first touch away from the defender. And a finish from the top scorer in the championship. To send the Leeds fans mental. And give us a vital three points here. But not just the three points. A way back into the winning run that we need. And Romero. Almost the last kick of the game here. Dramatic scenes. And that's good distribution to Hernandez as well. Oh, but they've got it back. Pizarro reads it. Yes. And now Guido Pizarro. And that's it. Yes. Well, we needed it. We really needed that win. And you can see what it means to the players. Not just because it's the really nasty supporter derby. But also because we needed that three points desperately. And it's Maxi Romero with a goal in injury time to seal it. It's Mason Mount, the new signing, who got us back into it with a vital free kick. He looked good all game. He got some rough treatment from Millwall today. Uh, but Romero with a brace as well. Absolutely key. Mason Mount with a good debut. 6.5 for him. All in all, fairly positive. But it's Bernardo again who is making the mistakes. He's a good player. I don't feel like we need to replace him. Obviously, there's some user error on my part going on massively with him. I think it might be that he is so good with the ball. But I try and overplay it. And we've been caught out many times. That sees us back into sixth place. Uh, why is that? I thought we were... That's weird. All the arrows have gone missing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're into sixth. And actually, we're only one win away from second. So it's it's absolutely razor tight here at the top of the championship. So there we have it. Let me know in the comments what you think about us just going in and signing uh, Martinez as our final signing. Let's just look. Just check out the uh, homegrown rule just to make sure we're not in uh, any trouble. So it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine. Uh, so if Bamford went out, we would be down to the eight. That is the minimum. Oh, and I didn't include um, Visa Maloney then. So we're on ten. So we would be down to nine if we sign Martinez with Bamford going the other way. Saiz obviously would become our backup striker. Bamford scored some important goals for us. So maybe not the right decision. But Martinez looks great. He could also play in the defensive midfield role if Pizarro was out. I think he would be a very, very... Bielsa-like centre-back signing, and I think he would give us the pace we need to stop any counter-attacks that we've uh, let slip. So let me know what you think in the comments. That'll probably go to the Patreon vote as well. I'll see you in a bit.